what is up guys today i am going to show y'all these really nice seat covers that cover auto sent me i'm going to show you how to install them and we're going to review them honestly i never really considered seat covers before cover auto sent them to me it was never like um a modification on my radar but then after installing these i was actually very pleasantly surprised with how much i actually really like these because my car has Napa leather, which is a higher quality leather. Honestly, first off, these seats don't feel much different. I really like the matte finish. And it doesn't feel like some horrible, like, really cheap feeling leather. This actually feels nice. And another thing is the seat back, the seat covers also make the seats more comfortable. I never realized that seat covers actually do that, but it actually makes the seats more soft to sit in. And then another thing is I have heated and cooled front seats and heated rear seats. Yeah, you can't use the um, heated and cooled seats as much with the seat covers, but you can still use them. That's something that also surprised me. You know, if I turn it on the highest setting, I could still feel it through the seat covers. So you don't have to get rid of your heated and cooled seats. All right, y'all, we are going to install the seat covers on my car. I just hit my head on this vent right here. Here's what the interior looks like before. I'm really excited for this because honestly, these seat trims break so much. They haven't broken in a while and me putting these seat covers on, maybe it'll prevent it from breaking even more. I vacuumed up my interior before. It's a little bit dirty, you know, I have some clutter in here, but I feel like I vacuumed it out pretty well. You want to, obviously, you want to vacuum out your interior before you put the seat covers on. And I was going to put some leather cleaner on the seat covers, or on the seats, but honestly, they're pretty clean. And I already put some moisturizer on it pretty recently, so I don't think it needs any moisturizer right now. But that's good, so then it keeps your leather in the best condition. All right, y'all, let's do the unboxing. You're probably like, why is he in this public parking garage to do the unboxing? Um, because I don't have enough space in my garage to do the unboxing because I can't fit the car in there. And I don't want you guys to see my driveway because then people know where I live. And plus, it's pouring rain outside and it's windy. I'm not going to... We got to unbox it here. So, we got the big knife. Let's cut into the box a little bit. Don't want to go too deep though. I'm bad at using knives, honestly. People are watching this probably like, bruh, the way you're holding that knife is sussing me out. And I'm like, honestly, that's just kind of how I am as a person with like, stuff. That's why a lot of times it's like, people be like, I'll do it. Okay. Perfect. Okay, here is the seat covers in their little bag. Let's open it up and figure out how are we going to put these on. All right, y'all, we are going to put the seat covers on. Now, I already put one seat cover on, and I had a very difficult time yesterday to put it on for some reason. Not that I didn't want to fit on. But there's these little like things called chucks and these prongs and you got to connect them together. And I just got really confused trying to, I don't know, we're going to try to figure it out now. Let's see if we could do it. Um, I'm not in the parking garage anymore. It's raining and hopefully I can put them on before it starts raining. I don't have enough room in my garage. Okay, I've read the instructions like literally like a hundred times. Not actually, but like 20 times. And I'm thinking, so you're supposed to put three of these little chucks on one of each little strap right here you're supposed to have three and then i'm thinking that you're supposed to um connect this with the chuck you're either supposed to do that to make it hold in place or you could connect the bottom seat back i'm thinking with one of these i don't know somehow they can connect let's put it in the car and see how it works out what's nice about these seat covers is they really just slide on as simple as that yeah, you gotta, um, you know, unclip these. And then you can put the little, what is this thing called? This is the aglet. I'm just kidding, that's not what it's called, but I feel like for some reason I wanna call that an aglet, even though I know it's not. Aglet is the thing on your shoelace. Can you use some verb? 
Anybody know what that is? But you could just like push this under the little aglet. I know that's not what it's called, but I'm just gonna call it an aglet because that's what I like to call it. It sits right flush. And then you just hook these back up. I'm gonna do it off camera because I need two hands to do this. And you know, we wanna get the seat a little bit adjusted. So let's do that off camera and show you when we're done. Boom, see, look at that. We got them all connected. And now here's the more difficult part. It's actually not difficult, but let's show you what we got to do. Okay, here's the difficult part. So there's a little clip, this thing. You're gonna wanna unclip this. And there's one of them. Let's take the one on this side. So you're gonna wanna take this and just shove it through this little hole right here. It'll go directly through, so don't worry. See, um, my seat has a little bit of dog hair. I literally just vacuumed it two days ago, so don't judge me. I, I don't know why dog hair gets everywhere. And here's where I might have did it wrong, but I think I did it right. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. So you're going to want to take these little, um, I forgot what they're called, the clips or whatever. This is the clip. But you're going to want to take one of these, make this little piece go through the hole. Because you see this is connected to the seat back on the other side. So this way it like keeps your all gripped in your seat. And then... Um, I can't do it with one hand, but we'll show you in a second. You're going to want to take these two clips and you're just going to clip them together. And you're going to want to do that for both sides, the driver and passenger seat and for the left and the right side of each seat. See, just like that. And I think there's actually, no, there's not. That's for the other seat. Now we got, you got to do it for the other side also. Okay. What the heck are these doing in my car? A pair of tweezers. These aren't even mine. Who even are these? Like, these aren't mine. Who be like picking their dead skin in the car? Let's put these right there. Okay, now this is the seat bottom. So this is the bottom of the seat. Obviously that's what seat bottom is. You're gonna wanna take these little like prong things or the hooks or whatever they're called. I should just look up on the paper right here because it literally says what it's called. Instead of being lazy, yep, it's the hook. And then you're gonna wanna attach the so the each seat bottom has two hooks that you're going to want to attach the bottoms right here and you're going to want to um spread this part a little bit and basically put it like that and then this part will be sticking out so let's do that i must also mention this is the front of the seat so this is where your legs go this is where your butt goes you could tell by how this is just how a seat is supposed to look you could tell just by looking at it that's how most car seats are so that's how you could tell front and back all right, you're supposed to have the prongs or the clips like this. My mic keeps falling. I need to get one of those Bluetooth mics that you clip onto your shirt. I have one of those, but it's absolutely horrible. Completely, complete waste of money. W horrible mic quality. Or actually, maybe I'm like, maybe it isn't. I'm not thinking well. Um, I just realized there's something that was in the background of the videos. Hopefully, y'all don't know what it is. Let me move it. Okay, it started raining and my headrest got all wet because I left my doors open and I didn't even realize it was raining. <laughs> so my car's all wet right now. We're going to wipe this off because you never know if some mold's going to grow. I don't think mold would grow. A little bit of rain never hurt to anybody. Maybe it did, but this is the headrest cover. Um, you're supposed to put it like this. The red obviously goes in the front. Why would the red go in the back if the red is in the front? Um, you just gotta slide it on. That's literally about it. The only thing is it actually is pretty difficult. Like when I slip, oh, my mic is, or my camera is freaking slipping. Um, oops. And now the headrest is slipping out of my hand and the camera is slipping too. This is really annoying. Me. When I put it on the other headrest, it was actually pretty difficult. And I kept having to like take it off and readjust it because I didn't want it to be crooked. So they, I feel like putting the headrest on is um, actually a lot more work than it seems. I think the easiest way to do this is to kind of just grab from here and then grab one of the little metal things and just pull and push at the same time. And then it should just like, see, we almost have it on all the way. Also, make sure you put your fingers in here. You're gonna wanna finger this a little bit. And boom, look at that. On snug and tight and it goes straight down the middle and we could just tuck this in like so 
and boom. We got our headrest in. Let's put it in the car. All right, we're going to have to take a break because it's literally pouring. No, this isn't pouring. But as y'all can see, I don't have... Oh, let me move the camera because there's some stuff I feel like YouTube would not allow. Um, maybe I should just like move some stuff in the garage and then I might be able to fit my car and let's try it out. Okay, y'all, I was able to squeeze my car in a little bit. Here's where it gets confusing. So we have um, these little clips, which you're obviously going to want to unhook these. No, you just want to leave them clipped in the whole time. There's like, they, they're clips, but you don't even need to unclip them. There's no reason. I'm just kidding. Damn, these seats are bright red. It looks like I'm in a Ferrari, even though I feel like Ferraris actually usually have some beige seats. But here's what got confusing. So y'all saw how there's the, the clips. You're supposed to want to, um, well, I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do. This is where I, what I mean when it got confusing. I didn't know what to clip it to, so I kind of just clipped the clips around the loop on the seat back. So I connected this seat back with this seat, or this seat bottom with this seat back with the little clips. I think that's what you're supposed to do. The other thing that got confusing, don't judge my floors dirty. I literally vacuumed it two days ago, but it's been raining here. And y'all know how it is, you vacuum your floor and then literally the next time you use your car, it's back to normal. Um, you're going to want to connect these little, the metal prongs. It's supposed to connect to this metal bar under the seat. However, I couldn't really find one on my car. There was some, um, see, that's, this is the issue, is it doesn't really have anything to connect to. I mean, I there's like a weird little bar under the seat. It's not metal, but it has some like wires connected to it. I don't even know. I kind of tried connecting it to that. It was connected for literally like a minute and then it just came undone. So I feel like this is just going to eventually keep coming undone. That's okay though, because it doesn't really fall off. But that's what was confusing about that trying to connect it to the metal bar. Okay, so now I just got one installed in the back seat. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to actually want to lift up the seat bottom. Now, how do you do that? Just slide your fingers under here until you should feel something there like get your fingers in the crack and you should feel like a little lever i don't know why i can't find it right now when i just found it earlier oh here it is it's like right here like see where this third little like stitches or whatever it's like right under that and it's on both sides and you're going to want to push it to the left and then that'll unlock the seat and then i think there's another one right in here or it might be right here it's right in here and you're going to want to push this one too to unlock the seat and then you should be able to take it all off honestly i didn't unlock the third one because quite frankly i don't want to take my seat bottom off that just sounds that just stresses me out like i feel like i'm gonna break it if i do i probably wouldn't but honestly like i just like am not trying to do that like i really feel like i would be have to make a point with the mazda dealership oh my seat bottom came off so i didn't do that but i did lift it up to put it on so you could do that and now you guys are probably like, oh, well, he didn't lift the seat up because when you put the um, these rear seats on, you're actually supposed to take this whole seat bottom out. Honestly, I wasn't trying to do all that because I have heated rear seats. So then, you know, I had to unclip some heated rear seat thing. Honestly, no, I'm sorry, but that seems like I don't want, I'm too scared of breaking something. That just seems like too much to deal with. Y'all can do that and y'all can watch another video on how to remove the seat bottoms of a Mazda 6. But I'm not the one who's going to be removing the seat bottom. I'm sorry. I feel like I would just break something. That's just me. So I did my own other way of clipping this in, which I showed y'all in the video. But they work pretty good. So I would recommend. And I got my friends right here. Do you guys like the seat covers? Oh, actually, actually, I do. I like them really nice. They make the car look nice. Plus, you wouldn't be, like, scared to, like, if something fell on them or, like, scuffed it up, then it would scuff, like, the actual seat. What do you got to say about oh, this seat Oh, my covers? goodness. You got me all candy camera. I mean, you got some nice seats. Uh, refer what she said. You know, you dropped something hot, maybe you spilled something. Boom. The leather underneath is, like, perfect. Perfect. They're cute, too. I think, I think the multicolored thing is nice too because then you can switch it up. You can still have the same 
like the same leather, but like switch up the colors, yeah. which I think is really nice. And it's like You're right. made like pretty thick too, you know, it's not thin. It's durable. It's durable. That's a good one. Period. These are all good things. Thank you. Installing the seat back is pretty easy. I just connected the um, clips right here. Hide it away a little bit. <laughs> and then... Oh my god, this mic is annoying me so much. Um, if you just put this on the back... You're supposed to take the headrest off. And you could unzip this right here to make it go through but i didn't do that honestly i was lazy and quite frankly like it still works either way you could take the headrest if you want off it makes it look more like i think it makes it look better but i was kind of lazy and it doesn't really make a difference to me so i kind of felt like saving time doing this because i've actually been taking a while installing these and i'm hungry but you just connect the these little clips onto the metal things and then, like that. Then you got this big piece in the back. This is how you tell this is for the seat back. It's because it doesn't have any straps or clips or anything. You just Velcro it into the middle right there. Okay, for the last part, you got the little metal headrest here. And really, all you got to do is just unclip it. Wrap it around the little metal things right there. Wrap around the headrest right there. And boom. All your seats are installed. I've had these seat covers on my car for about a week and a half now, and honestly, I can definitely recommend these to anybody who is in the market for some seat covers. These MSRP for around $219, which is a little bit expensive, but these are actually really high quality, so I can understand, because I feel like a lot of seat covers are kind of cheap, and they make your car feel kind of worse, so I feel like people don't really want them, but these definitely make your car feel nicer, and even my friends said so, like, yeah, I asked them in the video how they feel about it, but a bunch of my other friends have been in my car, and they all said that they really like the seat covers, and I didn't even ask them about their opinion on it, and they said it without me asking. I've also been kind of a slob with these seat covers so I could test out the durability and I must say they are pretty easy to keep clean, hard to get dirty, and honestly, I do not keep my car the cleanest, as y'all can see in the video. Special thanks to Cover Auto for sending me these seat covers to review. I am so grateful. Honestly, they are actually really nice quality leather. I've had them on my seats for a while now and I just really like how they feel. They have a nice matte finish. They're very easy to clean up. I was eating on them. See, there's a little bit of crumbs. I was having some Popeye's biscuits. Honestly, and I can have that. Now that I have seat covers, I'm not worried about spilling some food on my seat covers. You know what I mean? So thank you to Cover Auto for sending me these seat covers. And look, it got the Cover Auto symbol in the leather. And this is perfect because y'all know the seat trims that are right here in my seat come popping out. So this will probably protect it. And you might be like, oh, I don't like the red. I don't like the red. Well, guess what? They have a bunch of different colors. So you can choose that. And oh, get that little crumb off there. That was, an, I just saw that. So yeah, shout out to them and go get the seat covers. It was pretty easy to install. And I really like these seat covers. I really like the quality. And these also make the seats so much more comfortable. I'm not even kidding you guys. I'm not just saying that it actually makes the seats more comfortable and i really like these little um this design it has like a luxurious look and they protect your seat it doesn't slide off and stuff so honestly this is a pretty good product and i definitely think you should check out their website so link in the description go to cover auto to get some good seat covers thank you once again for sending me these